What's going on everybody? I'm finally gonna do, I have updated my trailer again. I have to apologize, I'm soaking in sweat. It is hot out here and I just got more of my yard and stuff. But... All right, here's the additions. Jungle Gym, two tier backpack blower rack. Let me get it from the other side here. That's Husqvarna 350BT and Echo 770T. Ain't that cool looking? Now check this other thing out. I changed my boxes. I'm not getting rid of them. They're going on this side. I switched to the Jungle Gym handheld blower racks. The sun is beating down on me. You see them? So the boxes are still here. They're going to get put on the other side. But instead of a box that does everything, these just do handheld blowers. And they lock the same way as the Jungle Gym trimmer racks and stuff. And the backpack blowers. Alright, and then you know the trimmer rack, but check this out. This is called a Jungle Gym sheath. Jungle sheath. Or rather. Check that out. Right on the back. I didn't know where to put it. You know, it's made and they show pictures of it on top of the rail and stuff. You don't want many things over here because you're in traffic. Don't do that. That's not smart putting trimmer racks and stuff over here in the traffic. If anybody does that, you might want to redo it. For your own safety. None of my business what you do. You see those lock the same way as these lock. But you notice how they're out of the way. But anyway, that's made to mount on the side. Well, there's an existing hole right there. It don't interfere with the shovel either. See? And then I only drilled one hole down there at the bottom. So now my hedge trimmer is locked. It come with a chain and a strap to strap it down. I just went ahead and put a cable lock all the way through it. And you can do a chainsaw there too. But ain't that awesome? Look, I have a hedge trimmer on my trailer. Two backpack blowers, two handheld blowers, and almost nothing inside my trailer. Do you see that? Nothing is impeding me. Look at the blower rack in the corner up out of the way i don't know if i'm gonna have to use a bungee to hold them in i'll do that in a second it'll probably i don't know if it'll stay or not this is my first maiden voyage i bought these back in the winter if y'all remember february but look at that no impeding of the trailer now this is an 82 inch trailer on the inside not the outside this trailer is as wide as you can go the reason I bought that width is because I wanted the width for the mowers to go sideways and stuff. Why do I want to buy stuff that goes impedes your that impedes your trailer? If you like that, I'm not judging nobody. You do you, and I do me, and that's fine. But I'm just telling you why I like Jungle Gym. The Jungle Gym sheath is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. See, it's too long to put in this box. The reason I bought this box, it'll fit a combi unit. But it won't fit them hedge trimmers. And I don't want stuff in the bed of the truck. I hate that stuff bouncing around. So the blowers are officially up. Out. Got the weed eaters. String trimmers. I don't like saying weed eater because that's a brand. It's like calling a skid steer a bobcat. I, I prefer skid steer, not a bobcat. In the construction in industry, we call them skid steers, not bobcats. So string trimmers, you can call them whatever you want, by the way. I'm not judging nobody. I'm just talking. This is all me. But I showed that on my group lawn pros. If you ain't joined, join. Me and uh, Ruben started that group. We was the first ones on Facebook. We're very picky, so there's been a lot of people been removed. So if you're a good person and you want to join, let us know. And then got some admins and some mods, my boys. So you can join. Don't be a fake. Sometimes I accidentally add fakes. I don't mean to. But yeah, check it out.
Look, look in the corner. It double mounts too, not one mount, two mounts. It don't mount just on the top. These trimmer racks don't mount just on the top. Now those mount just on the top, but they're little tiny blowers. Like, there's an old YouTuber. I'm an old school YouTuber. This is the first year I've actually actually started making videos constantly. Used to, I would never make a video. I've been on YouTube a long time, but I would only make one video a month or something. Just scroll back and look. This has been my busiest year on YouTube. But a long time ago, and I'm not going to say no brands, there was another brand that people were crazy about a trimmer. Right. Well, his I'll tell you his YouTuber's name, Mag1381. He probably used to be the biggest YouTuber in the lawn care industry. This was before great anybody. We was a real tight knit small community, but we didn't none of us made that many videos. Now I see a bunch of just people's YouTube channels are bigger than their lawn companies. And they buy a thousand, two thousand dollar cameras trying to be a YouTuber instead of a <laughs> Oh you can say I'm making fun of them or not, I don't care. You know, if you want to be a YouTuber, that's fine, but don't pretend, you know, oh, I'm just carrying a camera on my journey. <laughs> anyway, we're an authentic lawn community, part of the old school. And anyway, Mag1381, he still got the video online on his YouTube. Them, I don't want to say the name. I don't want to knock no brand. It seems brand biased. I'm not. I don't care what you use. They only mount on the top, and then if you got them in a trailer, there was an enclosed trailer mount, right? Well, somebody watch his video where they only had two bolts on the top of the rail, grabbed it and pulled the whole trimmer, all three of the racks, and then where the end of them has the little things that slide in, they stowed all three of his trimmers. <laughs> it's not funny either. So make sure, I don't care what brand you buy, they double mount. Not the enclosed trailer kit double mount. I mean a real double mount. If you don't, that's fine. I'm not judging you. I don't care what you do. I'm just anybody that's just getting into lawn care is who I'm mainly talking to and who don't have a trimmer rack. Double mount. Double mount. But check that out. That hedge trimmer, man. Look at it. I mean, I, I come up with that idea. Jungle Jim has pictures of it on the rail. Go to their website. And I said, I want that thing up out of my way. Just for the same reason I bought this. Was to get these two blowers out of my way. And get everything out of my trailer. And then I was looking at that. And I said, ah, 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 ah. And the hole was even the same size as the hardware it come with. So it went, book, book. And slid it in there. It comes with a strap and a chain. I used a cable. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, lawn care setup's coming soon. I don't have time or I don't really feel like pulling everything out of the building. The snapper, the two Toros, the to big Toro ain't on here. If y'all wanna buy the little Toro, let me know. You wanna buy the little Toro? There's the big Toro. Here's the little one. There's that blade shortener ain't nothing wrong with a little toro except he's dirty he's got some grass on him so if y'all want to buy that 1500 bucks nothing wrong with it it needs boosted it needs boosted mm, it's boot i don't know why my finger ain't got any. so expect those two mowers my snappers in the building the other mowers in the building the other trimmers is in the building I got some new toys to show y'all I ain't never showed. I'll, show, I'll make the video soon. Just give me time. I did that this weekend. This has been done. I done it on Father's Day. So happy late Father's Day to any dads out there, I guess. I'm sure everybody done told you that and this is late, but that's what I wanted to say. I'm very, very happy with my backpack blower rack. I don't like showing all my <laughs> hoarder mess ain't nothing of value but uh, look at that rack they're out of the way man look at that they're completely out of the way 
as long as they don't hit my truck when I turn, we'll be all right. <laughs> well, my phone stopped for some reason. Well, I'll let you guys go. I was starting talking about my trimmers. My Husqvarna still has that little bit. <laughs> Husqvarna never contacted me. Even though I got that Husqvarna. That Husqvarna backpack blower is fine. This one, the handle's coming off, but it's fine. I like Husqvarna, but I'm done with them because they don't stand behind their products. This right here is coming off. It's all. That's it. I don't know how, but it is. That's why steel's got that this hard plastic, but it it don't have much vibration, and it's real light compared to that one. I don't I don't know if I recommend these blowers. This is a good blower, but it's so heavy. And you're gonna say, "Oh, don't be a sissy, be a man." Somebody that says that means they don't do a lot of mowing and stuff because it goes in when you're doing it for a long time. Every pound counts. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not the <laughs> that's not <clears throat> the lock that I just put that on there by the way but yeah the boxes are gone the boxes are going over there I think <sighs> I'm gonna see if I can fit my gas cans in them somehow and then I don't I want red now I'm gonna have to paint them red to match jungle gym or I could put jungle and my first name is Jared. Jungle Jared. <laughs> oh. We'll just put exterminator across where their stickers at. I bought that. They didn't give that to me. They did give me something. I think they felt sorry for me because I bought all their stuff and they said, Here, here's you something. I'm like, thank you, Jungle Jim. <laughs> ah, they're good people. Funny thing is, unlike Husqvarna, you can contact Jungle Jim, guess what they'll do? They'll talk to you. You can contact Skag, guess what they'll do? They'll talk to you. You can contact Echo, guess what? They'll talk to you. Still, they'll talk to you. You know who won't talk to you? And then sends you to some stupid, random, friggin' people talking? Husqvarna. Yep. But the 350BT, man, he old, he perfect, man. If you notice, he's in pretty good shape because I don't let a bunch of nim nims use my stuff and abuse it, and I keep it out of the sun mostly. I seen somebody. What's that one company? I ain't gonna say nothing. That looks so goofy. I'll be nice. I'm eyeballing a V ride too, by the way. <laughs> Do I need another mower? Heck, no, not at this point. Do I want a V ride too? Yes, and then I looked at the new Husqvarna stander. I could go get it tomorrow, just like I get a skag tomorrow. But Husqvarna, when I buy my next mower, I'm gonna make sure Husqvarna watches the video just so that they lost money. And there won't be much money buying a mower to them, but it'll be some money, just because they don't have no customer service at all. God, I seem like a whiny little. But I'm still mad, man. You spend all that money and you can't even get somebody to talk to you? Pfft. Still talk to me. Echo will talk to me. Echo's got a good customer service. I don't have nothing against them. I don't have nothing against Steel, of course. Just good companies. He needs a new plug. I ain't even changed the plug or the air filter. I ain't even cleaned it. And that thing still goes, but now it's getting hard to start. And the air filter is completely stopped up. That's my fault. It's two over two years old. Expect a review over this coming soon. A good real review from somebody that don't have nothing to lose. If I say bad things about it, oh well, because I did not go to the UAG. I was offered, I'm not going to lie, two times. And I couldn't make it. I didn't say I wouldn't wanted to go. I said I couldn't make it. So I don't have no deal with Echo. And you see it's still on the trailer, don't you? And let me tell you about that backpack. Every time I use that thing, if you prime it and choke it, it will crank in one pull. I don't care what anybody says. Have I got millions of hours on that thing? No. Somebody's got maybe a thousand hours or something, or, you know, ridiculous number. It might not. Of course, it's a machine, but to this day, my low hour... 
I mean, it's got hours on it. Don't get me wrong. I just don't leave them out in the sun and stuff. It starts in one pool, man. I love that blower. Love that echo. All right, I got to get going. This is way too much. What do you guys think? Peace.